Slowly open that, Kim. And you might, you don't know what's lurking behind here. So we got blood and we got tarp. And a long, ominous hallway. Ooh, audio log. Today was something truly surprising. He was one of the last groups of test subjects. Just another patient I expected to babble and maybe even die. Patient 105, Leslie Withers. Dun, dun, dun. Ruben had singled him out as a useless subject, but he must have known. He knew I would read his notes. What else was Ruben lying to me about? But this Leslie, he emerged cognizant, calm, and able to report fully what he'd experienced inside. His unique pathology allowed him to successfully navigate his STEM experience with little repercussion. They know nothing of his existence, but no doubt he is the key. If we all share the consciousness, then with him, I too should be able to experience the STEM, potentially even suppress the more unsavory aspects of it. With him, I can be the master of the very technology I helped create. Mobius will see my worth and let me rise even higher in their ranks. Hmm. So it seemed that Mobius, you know, like when they saw what could actually happen, they were like, yeah, fuck you, Menez. And they were just like, we, we, we just want Leslie. That's all we require. Ooh, cutscene. Reunited and it feels so good. We can go back and look for No. I mean, let's just get out of here first, then we can worry about Sebastian. Can we open this gate? I doubt you and I are strong enough. Joseph, watch yourself. I'll be fine. Quick, look around, see if there's another way out. I wish I could control Joseph. He looks like he's actually about to get involved with some action. Meanwhile, you know, hey Joseph, I mean, come on, no, don't you have a gun to spare or something? Help me out, please. Whatever, just follow me through this door, then I guess. Hey there, black cat. How you doing? Oh, all right. Well, let's go ahead and save. All right, so we're done with that. You know, we, we pet the cat, I guess. And I like how they sort of, like, did that in the model that I read for the cat. Like, the black cat allows Kidman to collect her thoughts and stay calm as everything is, like, going crazy around her. Paraphrasing here, but that's essentially what they said. It's like, seriously? J just go through the door that randomly popped up, Joseph. You'll be fine. Just... Follow her. Where are we going? Hmm. I can go down there. Okay, that might be main path, so... What's down here? Ah, no! This was main path! Turn around. Losing focus, kid. I warned you about that. How could this place exist? I don't understand. What's happening in here? Rubik knows you're here. He's feeding off you. But there are more important problems. That detective. Joseph isn't something to worry about. He doesn't suspect anything. He's expendable. How else do you want me to say it? Remove him. That's an order. Killing Joseph? That's not gonna help me find Leslie. He can't be trusted. He'll turn on you. They all will, once they know what you're after. We told you. You're weak, kid. And you're disappointing us. I'm not gonna be able to go through that door, am I? Man! enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. It's odd, though. 
Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. Oh, for a minute, I thought we were about to do some close quarter combat, like, you know, the boss battle from the, the Snake Eater. I'm not talking, well, I mean, you know, the, the name of the boss was The Boss. So I have to get a stealth kill with an axe on Zomba Joseph? Hmm. Okay, but I am determined to go through that freaking door. By any means necessary. Alright. So this time, we're going to go through here. Alright. So, we got symbols. Oh, God. Do I have to actually... Oh, man. Oh, this is going to suck. Uh, I regret everything. <laughs> I regret coming in here. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, well, we got that burned in. Oh, that's all we had to do. Oh, okay. I'll take it. We've refocused the efforts of the other programs to support our research. STEM priority has seemingly overridden other departments' individual research. Chemical and botanical studies are focused now on temporary, priming subjects for their inevitable connection. Now that the prototype is up and running, experiments continue. Upon their return from STEM integration, patients are interviewed extensively. While their particular pathologies inform their experiences, there are commonalities. They all experience the same settings, the same occurrences. The world they inhabit becomes larger with every new visitor. This suggests that shards of each user's consciousness are left behind inside the stem, creating a community. It's as if internally a new world is being built. Okay, I mean, that was kind of like already implied in the main story, too. Like, you know, everybody's consciousness form melding together to form like a little world that reminds them of the world they live in and stuff we kind of already knew that it wasn't really worth it coming in here to get that but whatever but just so it counts I'm, I'm picky like that just so it counts I'll go oh wait no it'll auto save the moment I start the Joseph fight never mind oh my god Ugh. your stamina you you make Heather and Silent Hill 3 look like she has amazing stamina. And she's a former smoker. Who's also... By canon, supposed to be 17. Something's not right there. She was smoking behind Harry's back. That freaking kid. Also, they're not... Oh, wait, there we go. Guess they just had to load. Oh, I will. Zombie Joseph. Uh, 
Okay, so I just need to sneak up behind them and... I'll wait for the time to be right. I could lure him. But I'm lazy. That was actually a very good time for me to go. I'm being a little too careful. Come and kill me if you can. There we go. Oh, fuck you, Kidman. Language. Freaking heathen. Hmm, I'm missing an. I have no axe. Why did you just pull out a gun? You didn't. You, you threw away your gun, remember? Guns don't solve problems, Joseph. <laughs> Seriously, is his strategy just to... I know who you are. Just to constantly walk around the room? Oh, now he's walking around the perimeter. Okay. So while he's outside... I can grab that axe. Yeah, we'll lure him with music. Don't run. Just let me get a clean shot. Oh shit. I forgot. You can actually look through windows. Who would have guessed? God damn it. And hit number two. Um, where's another axe? Just grab the axe. You can't take cover behind here? There we go. All right. There's no windows in here. So do I just wait? Show yourself, damn it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. He's too sneaky for me. There we go. Quick time events. Oh, that's it? Three hits and you're dead? Okay. And he was doing the scar pose right there, like, brother, help me! Only instead it's Kidman, so it would be sister. He should have just stayed out of the way. What do you mean he should have just stayed out the way? He had no clue what was going All you need is axe. What, is that an achievement for only using an axe on him? What else could I have possibly used? 
Also, I wish we were still in that area. I kind of want to explore around. Wait, does she actually have a gun? Oh my god, I'm actually packing. No, you had a gun! What? No! What? God damn. Fine. Whatever. Just continue to be defenseless. Kidman. This house. No, it can't be. What is it, your house? If so, you live in a very bad house. Let's see, I guess they don't want me to go outside just yet. Let's follow the blood. Somebody's in their rocking chair. Mother would sit in her chair, rocking back and forth. Oh my god, this really is her house. Oh my god, now we're getting backstory. Uh, Alright, fine. Miss Kidman, please tell me about your family. Next subject. No, we've prolonged this talk for a while now. It's important for our understanding of you. They never gave a shit. Too caught up in that church of theirs. More like a cult. It was like a punishment. Nothing I ever did was good enough for them. They abused you? No. It was more like neglect. That's why when I just left, they didn't care. They never came looking, they just gave up. And you never went back to them? I did. A couple of years later, they were gone. Everyone was gone. It was like the whole town got up and moved. I should have felt something, but I didn't. And how do you feel about it now? The same. They can rot for all I care. It was strange, though. There's a statue in the center of town. An angel with its head in its hands. I used to just stare at it when I was young, thinking it was sad. But now, I felt like even that statue knew how pitiful life was there. What a terrible place. Okay, so apparently there was a cult in Kidman's town and her mom didn't care about her and... Kidman, you were not a good artist when you were a kid. I mean, granted, you were a child. But still, I, 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 I don't even know what I'm looking at right here. I, I really don't know. Looks like scribbles. Also, how do we go from hearing your minute? Oh, that's a personnel file. Oh, so these are all interviews for uh, Kidman. I probably missed out on some backstory then by missing the first two. But we're only one, like, uh, Jimenez entry away from completion, and we did get this one. It's just it didn't say. It looks like I'm not getting the trophy for collecting all the stuff. But I think I kind of knew that was going to happen. I haven't even found any more snails. Ooh, that texture pop in. All right. Anybody out here? Oh, we were in this little town village place. So this was actually Kidman's house. So this is Kidman's town village area. Wow, I feel bad for you, Kidman. Hmm. So do I want to explore all the little stands or do I actually have a goal? You know what? I'm, I'm going to waste time and explore. Hmm. I believe this is where we found the uh, goddess statue previously. Oh, wait. Are we going to finally like see what kind of purpose those serve? Because they were kind of random, like, you know, goddess statues in the middle of nowhere. And there was no point in me coming in here then. Hmm. Is that an axe? No, it's a sledgehammer. I still think you should grab it, Kidman, but fine. 
Whatever you know best, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure does look like rituals take place here. Alright, well, let's lightly jog all the way back around then. I would run, but she has the stamina of a 90-year-old smoker. It's with the lit candle, though. Like, the single lit candle. Eh, it must not be too symbolic for something. Hmm. You heard the woman, Leslie. Stop. She wasn't too convincing with that. At night, I would stare up at the statue lit up in the center of town. It looked like it was crying for all the wasted life in that place. They couldn't have made this any more simple. Let me guess. I need to look up from, like, what, right here? Or I need to find one more of those things. Wait. This is the same kind of thing that's on Stiletto Monster. So do I need to get Stiletto Monster's head and drag it over here? Maybe. Maybe. So I'm having a hard time seeing right now because the sun is directly in my eye. In, in my window, not in the game. It, it's, it's kind of, you know, the middle of the freaking night in the game. Okay, apparently that's not a place I wish to go. Okay, wait, what? We got a puzzle to open that there safe, but I'm not seeing the combination. Where, oh where could it be? Seriously, where is it? Granted, I'm missing letter scraps, but I still want to open it. Hmm. It'll probably turn up. No, but it can't be too far away from right here. I'm going to look up here one more again. No, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, hopefully it'll turn up somewhere, I guess. Well, let's go back down here, uh, down Flea Market Lane. I have no other name for it. Yes. That's kind of what the diaries were telling us. I am determined to find the solution to that safe. Maybe through here? I mean, this has to serve some purpose. It's freaking dark. Oh wait, I didn't even try kicking these. It's a snail! Yay! Oh, we got Joseph! I don't want Joseph! I want... <sighs> Fine. I want a stiletto monster, not... Well, I can't, I guess beggars can't be choosers. 
least we got a snail. It's freaking Joseph, though. Ew. Oh, they don't count in the archives. Okay. Yeah, at this point, it's not looking likely I'm going to figure out what the combination to that safe is. Ah, there it is. I have a feeling something's going to happen the moment I grab it. I thought maybe one of the pictures would hide the solution. I don't know, whatever. Searchlight, the ship of the searchlight seems oddly familiar. It is splattered with grease and smells of blood. Hmm. Wait a minute, that one searchlight does have a full range. Oh, but it didn't even light up until it was facing the correct way. I was about to say, maybe I need to turn it around a certain way and it would have the solution. I really want to crack open this safe. Is there really a point considering I've been missing the letter scraps up to this point? Yeah, it's probably not worth it. But I just can't help it. Kicking the candle seemed to do nothing. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Then we set the searchlight right here. And then I guess I have to stand right here. The angel just looks like it's face palming, like, man, I, I, I can't believe I'm back in this dump of a town. Ugh. I know that feeling, angel. I know that feeling. So now we're down in the catacombs. Oh, am I gonna have to fight Guardian Dog again? I like Guardian Dog, even though he was just essentially Phantom Ganon. I feel like I should be looking at the walls as I'm going down here, but nah, whatever. In life, we constantly search for a place we feel safe. A home we can always come back to. We imagine that place in our minds and are drawn to it. You had a home, but now that place is here. Well then. Okay, can't open that. Fine, go through here. I'm gonna keep going through here. Oh, there's a save cat. Oh, that's not a solution. Those are crosses. Uh, alright, well... I'd say I've gone on long enough. Ooh, is this the last audio thing? Reuben has no idea what he's done. It's not surprising that he doesn't care either. He was never motivated by fear of Mobius. The stem prototype works, but only when connected to Reuben. I've checked the details and he customized the whole system to only operate with his own brainwave pattern. I left him alone with the device for far too long. Trusted him too much, and despite all my knowledge in the field, it's past the point of fixing. I can't just flip a switch. And that's not the worst of it. They know, as well. I'm not going to take the blame for this. I will drag him here and make him fix it. I can't imagine what they will do to him if he doesn't. 
Ooh. But all right, I guess I've gone on long enough. There's probably not that much left in the chapter because that was the last little entry. So, yep, that was the last one. But all right, I'm about to save and uh, yeah, see you all next time for when we beat the first part of the DLC, the assignment, hopefully. But all right, goodbye.